Now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. What's that? Come on, you get down to the real business here. Okay. I uh, think you could use a little help with your love life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, the secret to enhancing your love life could actually be in the produce section at your local grocery store. <laughs> you heard it right. <laughs> a researcher now says a good old watermelon may be a natural Viagra. Out with the tomatoes, in with the watermelon. Could somebody please get me a couple of watermelons real fast? <laughs> Joining us now, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. All right, you think this is true watermelon? I don't know, Greg, but I love this story. And, you know, we used to think that the summer stimulated romance because it was hot outside. Now we're seeing that maybe it's what we're eating in addition to the ambient temperature that's stimulating our sexual appetite, so to speak. But this, this is very preliminary kind of basic science research that found that in watermelon there's an amino acid precursor that can actually work to relax blood vessels and stimulate the kind of blood flow uh, all over the body. And, you know, as we know, there's a big difference between something being effective in the laboratory setting and something working in a human body. But right now, you know, not only does this fruit taste good and is refreshing right. and low calorie, but potentially could actually help us in many ways. Okay, how many watermelons do I need to pick up at the store <laughs> this afternoon when I go shopping? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only do you probably need a lot, at this point what they found is that this critical amino acid called citrulline, which is a non-essential amino acid that works as a precursor to another amino acid called arginine, unfortunately is only fa found in the rind of the watermelon. Oh. Now, few people eat the rind, but do not worry. Scientists are already hard at work trying to create a hybrid fruit watermelon where that amino acid is found in the pink part. So. Right. Maybe not long off. All right, while I have you here, um, some of these, I don't know how to put it this way, libido beverages. Right. Uh, I mean, they're selling like hotcakes, especially out in Southern California. Sure, and, and you know, these... <laughs> yep. these Explain what they are. Well, functional beverage market is a whole, it's like the Red Bull type of drink. It's a whole section of the beverage market, which now kind of has other ingredients in it that not only taste good, but can actually do something to your body in, in, in a very minor and safe way. And there are libido enhancing functional beverages. One is put out by the line Function Drinks, which is created by physicians known right. as Nightlife. And it can, cre it can contain these herbal extracts known in large quantities to boost people's sexual appetite. Women too? Or sexual. Sure, anyone. Just curious. <laughs> yeah. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Wow. I never that's, heard of these. That's yeah. great. Where do you get them? You you know, can, you, they're available again. at any store. Yeah, you can any find them. Any store. Right. And I went online, and the latest uh, libido beverage that you can mix yourself, they're saying it's uh, Jägermeister and Red Bull. I, you buy that? I don't, actually. And remember, okay. Jägermeister is an alcoholic beverage. Right. So you want to stick to the more natural herbal remedies at right. this point. And yeah. toss in a couple of oysters, too. That always helps. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks very much. I'm heading to the right. grocery store shortly. I'll let you know how it works out for me. <laughs> you can get some of the summer interns to help you. Oh, you get yeah. get the team of the hundreds. That'll get me in trouble. <laughs> Jägermeister and Red Bull sounds like heart attack in a cup. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, that's not to be tried at home. Yeah. Well, they.